aquamarine from the Irongo uh, mountain region, Namibia. Now, uh, the, the aquamarine here is a very, very light uh, uh, blue-green. Actually appears almost clear. What, what you see running into the, the aquamarine here would be a, a feldspar, mainly. But also associations here I find are the uh, shell tourmaline, uh, sometimes perhaps even ilmenite, uh, often little gem uh, botoids sitting on the material which fluoresce under shortwave UV, which would be a, a Gaussian a, a, a hyalite, uh, not to be confused with halite, which I'd uh, call uh, opal AM. Termination here is pretty interesting, the main termination of the crystal. Almost a, a topaz-like termination versus the typical uh, uh, aquamarine termination. Let me just have a look at the reflections there. It's not a very large piece, so uh, I have to hold it a little way away from the camera, otherwise the camera can't see it. Pretty interesting. There are things happening here. Please look at my description. Um, I do need to look under magnification. Little crystal jutting out the side there. There's another one jutting out the side at the bottom here. Now these crystals sitting on there, I wouldn't be surprised if we're not looking at ilmenite, but otherwise would be the shell tourmaline or the black tourmaline. Ilmenite being little silver metallic plates. All the way from the uh, Eronga mountain, round about Usakos, Karibib in Namibia, actually more towards Usakos.